Welcome to the Ernest the Chicken quest guide. You need no levels or no items to start the quest. And you're going to want to start this in Drainer Village. Now if you don't know how to get here from the load zone, just go north. And outside the gate, you're going to want to talk to Veronica. And she's going to explain that her husband went, went missing. So normally you're going to want to start going to the third floor, but you can actually grab all the quest items you need and then go up there and finish the quest. So first we're going to head to the room to the west and we're going to pull the candle that's on the wall. And after you do that, go down the stairs and there's going to be a little door puzzle. So the goal, you're going to need the oil can. So you're going to both pull lever A and B up. And then you're going to want to enter the door. You'll notice that door kind of swings open a little bit. So you're going to enter it, and then you're going to pull lever D up. And go through the door in the middle. And then you're going to want to pull levers A and B back down. So in the top left room, you're going to want to pull levers E and F up. Go into the two doors that just opened and pull lever C up. So enter the two doors again and pull lever E down and we can finally get the oil can that's in that locked room. So I basically have this puzzle memorized because I've done this quest like a million times. But I will put it in the description. So pull the lever to get back into the starting area, open this door, and we're going to be looking for some poison. Take the poison from the shelf, and then we're going to want to go upstairs to the second floor. and grab the fish food and then we'll go back downstairs. So right now I'm going to show you this little uh, lure you can do. So never fall for this trick if you're a new player. If anyone ever tells you to open up this coffin, don't do it because you'll get attacked. 
But if you can trick someone into opening it, it is probably the funniest thing. Because most likely the person will die. And you get a pretty good laugh. I mean, I used to do this all the time. So there's Count Draenor. So he can't be killed until you do a certain quest. But he hits pretty hard. So most people won't run up the stairs. Especially if they're a low level. He should probably most likely kill the person. So definitely be careful because he almost killed me right there. You can pick up the spade. And now we're going to run to the back area. And then we're going to look at this little Easter egg. You'll see it here for like a split second. So you're going to want to stare at the rope. So now we're going to want to find a dirt mound, and we're going to dig it up to get a key. It's right next to those cabbages right there. So you want to click that, but right now I'm just getting some farming XP real quick. It does not hurt. Now keep running to the fountain now, and then you're going to want to use the poison on the fish food, and use the fish food in the well because there's piranhas in it. You search it, and you get item number two, the pressure gauge. And that's just one more item left. So go back into the mansion, and there's going to be a locked door you can open with that key you grabbed. So don't worry, the skeleton won't kill you, he's only level 13. Run in here, grab the rubber tube, and now you can run all the way upstairs and talk to the scientist to see what happened to Ernest. So Ernest is that chicken right there. So basically the scientist is going to tell you he needs those three parts because like go stow them and hit them. But since we already have them in our inventory, we'll just talk to him again and finish the quest. And then the reward's going to be two treasure hunter keys, 3,000 coins, four quest points, 300 feathers, and 10 eggs. So yeah, if you made it this far, please give this video a like. Thanks again.
And then the last part's just gonna be a little progression update. So I didn't win the raffle yet again. But I'm gonna use these treasure hunter keys and see what I get. So just gonna bump some bonus XP and Slayer. And then finally use my XP lamps on Slayer again. And then hit level 22, which will definitely save me from doing some boring tasks. Right, thanks again for watching.